from the people I was talking to, they said that he sounded perfectly polite when he was in there. She was pretty much the same. It, there was nothing to any of them that would have suggested anything like this. Community members here in Carmen, Manitoba, have been left in a state of shock and heartbreak, questioning how anyone could senselessly take the lives of five people from this small town, along with three young children. All as investigators from the RCMP continue to try to make sense of Sunday's horrific tragedy. The question you always have is when things like this happen, like, why the kids? Like, why do you do it to the kids? Randy McFarlane, who lives just a few doors down from the victim's home, says he regularly heard verbal arguments coming from the residents and is now left questioning what could have been done to avoid this horrible outcome. Now, even I could see it, and all I do is basically hear them. I could say, there's something wrong here. So, I know, how did it get to this point? Why didn't somebody try and do something? In a statement to City News, MLA for Midland, Lauren Stone, says this is a very difficult day and my heart is breaking for those who lost their lives in this tragedy. I am praying for all the family, friends, loved ones and the community of Carmen during this difficult time. A sentiment shared by Winnipeg Mayor Scott Gillingham. Having grown up in Carmen and with many connections still in the area, I'm shocked and saddened by today's news. My sincere condolences to the community and the families impacted by this tragedy. The RCMP had their press conference at 4.30 uh, yesterday afternoon. It all did become clear that we had a major crisis uh, in, in our Carmen area and, and something that our school division had to prepare for. Superintendent for the Prairie Rose School Division, Terry Oshoe, says he can't recall any tragedy of this magnitude and that the school board has already dispatched crisis support teams to both area schools, adding as a community, they are prepared to do whatever is needed to support the family through this difficult time. The focus has to be on the victims and the families that, and friends of the victims, and, and, and I think that's the, the common thread that we all have, is to do the best that we can to support them. In Carmen, Kurt Black, City News.